So, I've been posting videos of me driving my Saab 96 uh, from 1975, but in this video I will give you the story on how I got the car in the first place, and what I had to do to the car to be able to drive it. Uh, also, uh, posting this video now, uh, because I have owned the car for one year. Ever since I was small, I liked old cars, um, bikes, planes as well. Um, because of this, when I uh, got my driver's license, uh, I was always on the lookout for uh, cool, interesting cars on the internet. And um, I just wanted something that nobody else had, basically. Like a 19-year-old uh, buying his first car it has to be special for me. Uh, then, in May of 2021, uh, I found a uh, unknown car to me, a Saab 96, um, and it was kind of what I was been looking for. It looked very old, um, uh, older than the 1980s. That was kind of what I'm like aiming for. The more rounded edges, uh, not square and not like um, the, the cheaper cars, basically. But when I found this car, I was interested. So I started looking up on YouTube uh, videos about it and. Uh, I found out there was a really weird, quirky uh, Swedish car that was made by airplane manufacturers. So then, when I found the car on uh, on the website, I ran down from excitement uh, downstairs to tell my dad, and my dad gave his same old reaction as he did um, years before with every car I showed up. Um, and you know, he looked at it and he said, "Well." It said Barnfine on the on the front page, and uh, I was stoked about it. I was like, "This car, this is gonna be it." Um, and he was not so sure, um, but he basically said to me, "Like, if you really want this car, you're gonna have to call him up." And I had never done that before. I'd never called someone um, with the intention of buying something from them, especially not a car. So I was. You know, a little scared, but I was like, you know what? I do want this. So I did it anyway. So I, I grabbed my phone, I called him up, and I uh, was a very nice guy, uh, an older chap. And he was, you know, super kind, and he said, well, you can come by. Um, so I did. I drove by with my girlfriend, and we just went to look at the car. So a few days later, uh, we drove down 150 kilometers to see the car. Uh, first time visiting, I had my girlfriend with me, uh, we basically went there, we uh, looked around the car, the first time I saw it, I was like, wow, this is such a, a different car than is on the road, I've never actually seen one up until that point. Um, and then, after that moment, uh, I basically went to my dad and said, like, okay, it's very solid, the interior is nice, the, every structural uh, part is nice, um, the radiator was missing, but the engine was complete, everything was on it, and everything was dirty, but it it looked fine, nothing was like leaking or had oil in it, whatever. Um, so, I went back one week later with my dad, and then when I got there with my dad, uh, he also looked around the car and he was very excited as well. He first was very skeptical about the car he was like well uh, he didn't want me to buy something that I was gonna put so much time and money in um, and effort to eventually have something that didn't work uh, something that would just be a waste basically um, which is very understandable and I, I was also on the lookout for that not to happen um, but Luckily everything worked out and, and he looked around and uh, I asked the person who was selling it beforehand to um, hook up uh, um, a hose and just fill it with gasoline and just start it up. Let's let's see if it actually runs. Uh, and just with the twist of the key it ran. Uh, it idled and so I was like, well, you know, everything sounded fine to me. So, well... We bought it at that point. <laughs> From there, I started work on the car. Uh, first, I got the radiator by calling up a couple of people uh, in the Saab community. Basically, uh, just calling up companies that um, had like the name Saab in them, and basically calling up like, "Hey, I've got this old Saab. Do you know anyone, or do you have any parts for this car?" Uh, and they quickly sent me to a person who had like a very big warehouse of 
uh, stuff for myself. Uh, it was located a, a little bit north of my house uh, in Groningen. Uh, and there I got a whole bunch of parts, uh, gaskets, uh, and also a radiator so I could actually run the car um, without just having to turn it off really quickly uh, because of like overheating and whatever. It's just not good to run a car uh, without water. Um, very quick when we put the water in just to see if it was tight and not leaking water anywhere um, we found out that it was leaking and the uh, water pump was leaking so I bought a new water pump uh, which was a normal part it wasn't wasn't very expensive but the work to do to basically get it out and put a new one in was a lot of work I had a lot of cleaning to do it took out eventually the entire cooling system like, like everything um, and I put it all into a bath um, to make sure that all the rust was just gonna disappear a little bit and then I sprayed it over with primer and uh, put everything back in just to make sure that like it wouldn't rust as quickly as it did before and it would maybe look a little bit nicer um, also did the valve covers um, did the did the valves as well uh, just just a bunch of work to, to get the car running of course carburetor as well I, I did the whole carburetor kit um, but after all of that work we put everything together and again with a twist of the key it ran and just ran really good but I also managed to do the clutch slave cylinder and the hose to it, uh, filled it with oil and the clutch was just uh, free out on, on its own. We didn't have to break it loose or anything, it wasn't sticking. So that was also a really uh, good thing. <laughs> Now, the car had been sitting for 25 years at least. That is when the papers uh, stopped, basically, the insurance and everything. Uh, but according to a forum online, it is actually 35 years that the car had stood still since uh, 1986. Um, which could very well be, but I, I, don't, I don't know. It's not sure and we will never know for sure. But after standing still for all that time, the CV joints apparently had, um, well, they, they, they're bad. Uh, the moment I started driving, I could hear them knocking around. Uh, so I knew that that was gonna be the next thing to do. Uh, also tires, uh, but I could still drive around. Actually, fun fact, um, it was driving on one of its um, spare tires and the number on the spare tire said 1970, so it could very well be the uh, original rubber from the factory from Sweden, um, which is just really cool. So from that point, basically my search started for finding new parts, um, also exhaust, um, axles, uh, and a bunch of other bearings and stuff um, for the car to actually be able to register it on the Dutch roads again um, to be actually able to drive this uh, car uh, which is to the point that we are now um, we have done all the work to basically the car uh, all the brakes everything everything is now legal and works electrics everything works um, except for the axles and for the fan the cooling fan the bearing inside is bad um, and for that job it's going to Belgium uh, I've met a person there I also got all the other parts that I needed the exhaust um, from there a uh, very nice person and he has 50 years in these cars and he is just so excited um, that I am a young person getting into the Saabs basically the old Saabs um, so that's why he's helping me out and yeah it's just really nice to have uh, a community that helps you further and people that are willing to help you and spend their own time uh, into your uh, hobby.
basically. So for any of you still watching the video, uh, I thank you a lot for still watching this video. Um, because I'm actually doing this more for myself to make a memory to um, yeah, have an experience. Uh, so for you to be interested into what I'm doing is really cool. Um, the comments as well, I, I really like to read the comments. I, I Sometimes I don't expect anyone to react, but then I see like a couple, like three or four, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's really cool, you know? It's to have people recognize that I'm doing something with Sobs, and Sobs is a very nice community. Um, yeah, so I thank you for watching, and I'll keep you posted.